Speedway Community Magazine. Information you want, information you need. Helping you get connected, stay informed, and be a part of the community on Speedway Community Magazine. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Community Magazine. I'm your host, Blaze Nally, and with me again is Connie Harris. Hi. Connie, what are we talking about today? Well, first we want to thank Three Brothers Pub and Grub, which is the, in the location of the Old Books and Brews, who just hosted the Chamber Lunch, and they have a fantastic outdoor patio. So I encourage you to come with your, it's family friendly and dogs are welcome. So, and they just recently opened for lunch. So we want to make sure everybody knows about that. Awesome. But what we're really here to talk about is our annual chamber auction. Okay. So when is this? It's on Thursday, November 7th at Delara IndyCar Factory, which is located in, on Main Street and Speedway. Very nice. Now, is this open for families? Is this open 21 Not and over? Not families. It's a 21 and over event. We have, and everyone's welcome to attend that is over that age. There is no charge. Um, McGilvery's provides us with some great food, so we provide um, some snacks and food all dur during the evening and a cash bar. Okay, very cool. Now, what kind of items are they going to be auctioning off this year? Well, the Chamber uses this as its primary fundraiser because we do a lot of community events and programming. We really like to either have those events free or at a very low cost. So, obviously, that costs money. So, we use the money that we raise from the Chamber to pay for that. But we have all kinds of auction items. We have gift cards for restaurants, hotel stays electronics, sign. if you're a race fan, we get tons of signed racing um, memorabilia, we get two-seater rides, just all kinds of fun things. And the, and the gift cards for the restaurants are in Speedway, but we also get stuff like from Burger Study and St. Elmo's and Tinker Street and all those kind of things. So, Very cool. Um, so it's a fun evening. We do a couple of other um, activities to kind of enhance the evening. We do uh, raffle sales and we do 50-50 on that. And then we also do a liquor pool. So when you come in, you can buy a cork for $10. And then when we sell all the corks, you might uh, buy, you might win a $12 bottle of wine or a $50 signed bottle of Foyt wine. So that's oh, cool. just kind of another fun little activity why we, go, why we do the event. Nice, so not just an auction, there's raffles. Right, we don't do any live auction because we want people to be able to visit and enjoy themselves and network. Um, so it's all online and you can bid from the event or you can bid from the comfort of your own home. If you have a sporting event or can't make it, you can also register, um, peruse all the items that are on our auction list and you can actually uh, bid on those from your phone. Very so that makes nice. it really convenient. Very easy. And yeah. I know you said the event is free, but do they right. have to purchase their ticket online? No, they no can just you show can up? just show up at the door okay. um, anytime between 5.30 and 7.30. Um, you don't have to, if you win an item, and you're not there, then what we do is we take all those items to B&W Plumbing and she arranges for people that they can swing by and pick up their auction items from there. So we really make it convenient. It's a really fun event to come out and meet your neighbors, your community leaders, your business owners and that kind of thing. So we inter encourage people to actually come to the event, but if you can't, it, it doesn't eliminate you from participating. I love it. That's how it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, so it's a really fun Front, a fun community event and um, it's right before Christmas a lot of people get really cool deals I mean we have coolers usually we get cornhole games we get really fun um, gift baskets like bourbon and chocolate and all okay. you know, a wine basket <laughs> and all kinds of fun things like that so I love it just some you know odds and ends here and there how cool so Connie what kind of dress attire should we expect to go to we this? We get everything and we welcome everything. People, Some people come straight from work so they're in whatever they wear to work. Some people come from the ball diamonds or if you're coaching they just come on over. So it's not a fancy event. It's very low key and you don't have to stay the whole time. So you can just, you know, if you can't get swing over until 7, we still want you to come, grab us some food, you know, peruse the items, meet some people, that kind of thing. So it's really an informal um, event. Very cool. Where can people find more information if they want to get involved? Well, they can see on our Chamber website, we have information. We also have a Facebook event for the auction, and on the Speedway Chamber Facebook page, we'll be posting things. And we're using a bidding site called Kutego, and we will have this all over, our, our, all over social media, but come November 1st, they can actually go online in advance and look through all the items to see what they want to bid on. And this site is really neat because say you're bidding on a $50 gift certificate to Dawson's. 
and you don't want to spend over $50, you can set it up to bid, outbid everyone wow. until it gets to 50 and it stops, and then they'll send your phone a, an alert. Well, so, how easy is that? Yeah, yeah. Cool. I mean, I was around the olden days when you had to write your bid on the paper. <laughs> We've come a long way. So, yeah, it's really fun. Nice. Well, there you have it, folks. The Speedway Chamber Auction coming to Delara November 7th from 5.30 to 7.30. We hope to see you there. Speedway Community Magazine. Information you want, information you need. Helping you get connected, stay informed, and be a part of the community on Speedway Community Magazine.